So, you just got new skates. And now, what you're gonna do with this? Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. You just got new skates or you are about to get new skates. Today we are going to talk about what you should do on your first experience with skates. Or if you didn't get skates yet, how should you choose your skates? First thing, how are they gonna fit? So, you do not want to buy skates that are too big or that are too tight. So one of the most important things is to buy something that actually fits great. So when you buy new skates, buying skates that are super tight or that are super big it's never a good option you want something that feels comfortable and if it's not going to fit comfortable you do not want to use them so make sure to use something that just fits right that's very important when you buy your first skates usually i like hard boots something like this with a plastic shell because these will give you a bit more stability and especially when you're starting that stability is really going to help you but you should also know that a soft boot skate something like a shoe it's usually something also very comfortable most of the times now you buy new skates but do not forget to also get protections at least an helmet. I've been skating for close to 40 years and even skating close to 40 years, yes every now and then I do not use a helmet but most of the times I try to use a helmet. We never know when accidents are going to happen so a helmet will help you for sure. Also when you're starting using a full protection kit meaning knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards, it's going to increase your confidence levels and that's obviously very important. Now you got your skates you already know how to choose your skates. If you have any doubt about how to choose your skates, just drop me a comment. There's plenty of videos in this channel teaching you how to, to choose skates or what skate you should get next, so that will help you. Now, before I start talking about the basics that you should learn on the skates, let me just tell you that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. And if you didn't know what Skillshare is, well, Skillshare is an online learning platform where you can basically learn everything. At this moment, I'm trying to release a new project that has to do with the Airbnb experience with our skate park. So I'm trying to, to learn a bit more about this. And I found this course from Jared Banfield, which I'm actually following up. Up, and my goal is to learn how to do this and just like I'm learning how to create the Airbnb experience you can basically learn everything as I just said now if you also want to test this there's a link on the top of the description and the first thousand people to click on that link will have access to a 30 days premium membership of Skillshare so once again thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and this channel and to all of you check the link now let's get back to the video I'm gonna put my skates on and I'm going to also tell you something which is extremely important first time on skates make sure to use socks that are higher than your skates you do never want to come skate with socks like very low you know those very low socks that will not work for inland skates you want the socks to be taller than your skates extremely important when you're putting your skates extremely important to have them properly tight a very common mistake is that people leave their skates without being tight enough I already said about the sizing of the skate but also how you lace them or how you buckle them it's very important you want your skates to be snug around your foot and if you have one of these 45 degree straps or buckles make sure that it's properly tight because this thing right here is going to keep your heel in place I am not using knee pads today but if I would be using knee pads it would be extremely important to put the knee pads before I put the skates that's actually a very common mistake that people do so if you're going to be using knee pads which I really think it's something very important for a beginner well make sure to put them before you put your skates on it's going to help you some knee pads on the market can still be put after the skates but most of them you need to put them on before putting the skates on now protections are on 
now, where would you start skating? A very common mistake that people do is to look for a place with walls and, and benches and stuff like that that they can grab while they're starting to skate. I always advise everyone to look for a place without anything around. Something like this is like a little sports ring, but something also like a parking lot or whatever space you have, like a long road, whatever space that you have without too much stuff around you. You want to, to be free. When you try to hold something with your hands when you're st first starting, do not forget that you have wheels on your feet. And if it's your first time skating, if you're gonna grab a bench, if you're gonna grab a wall, if you're gonna grab whatever, your feet gonna keep rolling. And most probably your hands stay in the same position and you fall backwards. So to avoid that, we're gonna look for a place without any of these. Now, this is very, very important. How do you stand up? To stand up, you do not want to stand up like this. This is a very common mistake. So always think about going through your knees, okay? Going through your knees, extremely important. Now, both hands in front, and you are going to try to put one foot and then the other foot. And when you do this, you're gonna try to make a V with your feet, and with this V being done, or with a T, you are coming up with your hands until your knees, and this is your first safety position. By being here with the back wheels touching each other or with the back wheel of one of the skates against the middle of the other skate, this is going to allow you to be on this position. Now you're gonna slowly stand up and keep the pressure between both feet. What you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna choose your stronger leg and you're gonna put all the pressure on that strong leg and you're gonna try to move the other one keeping your feet parallel. Now with your feet parallel, a lot of people say that you need to bend your knees, but by bending your knees, sometimes a lot of people fall backwards because they bend their knees and they bring their bum back. So don't think about bending your knees, think about pressuring with your shins, with your shins here, against the front of the skates. You can have your legs extended, you can have your knees bent, but very important to feel the front of the skates. This is going to be a safety position for a beginner just to be here and to feel that your skates don't move now you might feel that your skates are moving right now and that could be either because you are on a hill or because you have your feet opened or because you have your feet closed and that's where we're gonna go right after me teaching you how to fall because before you start skating I want you to learn how to fall a very common mistake is when people fall with both hands on their back and that's extremely dangerous and that's what we usually tend to do naturally to avoid that we are going to first practice the fall how do you fall if I put a lot of pressure on the back I'm gonna fall backwards and this is a very common mistake a very common fall what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to put my hands in front and I'm gonna try to go as low as I can always pressuring with my shins against the front of my skates and now I'm gonna put both hands on the same side and I'm going to go away from the shins so something like what I also did when this happened was if I fell to the right side I tried to extend my leg it's basically the same thing as a cat if you grab a cat with four with the four legs and if you drop it that's exactly what it does he extends one of the legs and put the other two on the same side making them rotate the reason why we do this is to use our natural pillows our butt cheeks so by using one of, a, one of my butt cheeks and not two, I'm actually avoiding eating the coccyx. Coccyx is like the last bone that you have of your spine and that's a very dangerous fall. So we want to avoid that. Don't forget, both hands on the same side, if you can, try to avoid falling from really high. So you think that you're losing control, bend your knees as much as you can and go sideways, easy. Now, I'm gonna go up again. You now at least know how you should fall. I hope you don't fall a lot, but if you can, practice this. Now, feet parallel, you shouldn't go anywhere, right? Your pressure is against the front of the skate. If you open your toes, check where they go. They go forward. If you open your heels, they go backwards. You don't know how to go from one foot to the other. So all you need to think is, if I wanna go from the left to the right, if I want to put the right one in the air, I need to put all my weight on the left to be able to move the right one. If I want to move the left, I need to put all my weight on the right one to be able to move the left. 
And this is basically what skating is. I already know that toes out will make me move forward, heels out will make me move backwards. So a very simple exercise would be something like a lemon. You go forward, you go backwards. And this is all I want you to learn on the first day. By doing this, you already know how to go forward, you know how to go backwards, you know how to stand up, you know how to sit, because the sitting is actually the, inver the, the reverse of what you've just done. Stand up, check this out. I go here, both legs on the floor, one leg. It's the exact same opposite of the standing up. We know how to stand up, we know how to sit, we know how to fall, we know how the skates go forward, we know how the skates go backward, and we know how to stop, because when we did this, to go from forward to backwards, I actually stopped. I even know how to stay in the same position with the T. So that was the video today. If you want to learn more basics that you can do with skates and more advanced tricks or advanced skills that you can have on the skate, make sure to subscribe to this channel. There's also a link on the description for a playlist made by myself on this channel with all the basics that you may want to learn if you want to get some more skills on the skate. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can also become a member if you want to support what I do here by clicking on the join button. And if you like it, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give me a thumbs down, but let me know in the comments what you didn't like. You can also drop me a comment if you have any doubts. And the last thing is, do not forget why we all started skating. Like I always say in every single video, we all started skating because it's fun. Thank you very much. And once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Cheers.